Okay, it's the end of day four. Um, it's about half eleven, so I've actually gone over my uh, target time by about three and a half hours, and I've still only got one finished tune. So I've got you know six and a half minutes of mu of completed music rather than thirty. Um, I have another piece which again chocks in at, at, at five minutes fifty nine. So I absolute crack on with time there, and it's just missing one guitar solo. But I've laid that many tracks today and done that many takes of solos. My hands just, they ain't going to play it tonight. Um, it's, it doesn't help that it's absolutely boiling here, but I'm absolutely exhausted. I don't think I've ever, um, I've ever been so productive in the day. The amount of tracks I've layered and arranged and things... Um, and I've not really made this easy for myself. I've really kind of gone overboard on tracks and instruments. So I've used synthesizers that I've not used before. I've done a lot more with effects and mixing. Um, I'm I'm a, I'm a player. I'm not really an engineer or a producer or any of that side of things. Um, yeah, my my knowledge doesn't go much beyond you know the old four tracks. But um, I've I've done a lot of new stuff. A lot of fiddling around and. I'm I'm happy with what I've got. The two pieces I've got, which are more or less complete, you know, I'm happy with the way they sound. They're pretty much different from what I wanted. Um, some bits sound as I planned them, but over, overall, good. But in terms of uh, the Pike project, the Pike challenge, nope. Um, would I do it again? Not unless I was being paid. Um, Thirty minutes of music in four days. Unless it's, you don't have time to evolve with it. You know the fact that I was writing this from scratch as well. Um, normally, if I come up with a riff, I'll play around with it for two, three weeks, uh, doing variations on it and figure and letting it progress and and improve or tweak whatever. This isn't when you do something like this. You've essentially got to get your riffs and your licks spot on straight away because you don't have the time to spend developing them. They've got you've got to kind of have you know good strong ideas that aren't going to change, um, and that's and mine was changing throughout. Um, like I say, I've got essentially two tunes in four days. I think if if I hadn't wasted time on the other three songs, which have gone nowhere, I probably would have got the other one finished. Um, and I think that's probably the limit of my. Um, my productivity is is a six minute piece in forty eight hours if I've got a, a good enough idea to start with and my playing's on form. Um, so all I can really get out of this is that all, all you guys out in YouTube land are doing the oh anyone can put out content, yeah you know, anyone can set up a drum loop and just you know jam over stuff. Yeah, you can't. I I can sit and I can jam over stuff. It don't sound like that. Um, when you're talking, uh, you know. Pikes like uh, Project Little Man and Shaded Ray, um, stuff like that, uh, Hold Me Forever. Yeah, th these aren't improvised pieces, there'll be areas of improvisation in them, but they're too structured. You know, it, this was kind of taking the approach that I've done these last couple of days and to come up with those ideas and develop them. And also, I, I did this once. Yeah, he's, he's doing this every week. Yeah, that's yeah, the guy's superhuman, quite frankly. And I ain't. I'm a super digby, that's about as good as you get. So, in terms of Pike Challenge, fail. In terms of learning things, developing things, learning new ways of doing things, uh, you know, win in terms of benefits for me. Um, so, this is it, digby, signing off. No, no, no finished spike, poke. How do you call it? Hold on.